Before we begin, I want to explain a few things up front. First, this title was not intended to be clickbait. I named this video talking about the most disgusting tweet I've seen because it was the most honest assessment of what I am going to be doing here. So if you feel as though I'm clickbaiting you, I apologize for that. Second, you've likely noticed by now there's no music to accompany this video, no gameplay in the background, and that this is not monetized. The reason why is because this situation is one I don't find particularly amusing, and I don't want to unintentionally downplay what I consider to be a fucked up situation. If you or anyone else finds a way to find humor in this, I'm not going to judge you for it. I simply don't personally find this funny or amusing. For those of you familiar with my content and what I am willing to laugh at, this should be an indicator to you that if you have a weaker constitution, this video might not be one you can handle. If you don't think you can, this is your formal warning before I get into this. Now, with all of that explained, I'll begin. It's currently early morning where I am as I record this, and as of last night, a tweet was made by an account called Your Faves Are Maps, with the handle of at Your Faves Maps. This tweet, which you can see on screen, reads Etika from the Etika World Network supports map rights, and among the numerous hashtags is the hashtag of Joy-Con Boys Forever. I want to be clear. I didn't know Etika or watch his content and I won't lie to anyone watching by saying that his death left a deep personal impact on me. However, that does not change that the life and death of Etika impacted millions of people, well more than most of us can ever imagine impacting ourselves. And the fact that they tried to drag his memory through the mud in a disgusting attempt to co-opt his memory so that they could be accepted by a society that rightfully doesn't accept them is nothing short of abhorrent. This tweet wound up spreading like wildfire due to the justified outrage of people who saw it, and the owner of the account went a step further to attempt to use this opportunity to promote his Discord server, as well as try and play himself as a victim by tweeting, Kinda funny, the same people that drove Etika to suicide are the same people telling me to kill myself. I cannot imagine what it would have been like to be one of Etika's fans or one of his personal friends or family members. And have to see somebody use his likeness in this way, and then attempt to guilt trip them by trying to shift the blame, whether intentional or not, of Etika's death back onto them with this tweet playing the victim. Josh, the person they claim requested this tweet, has since responded, stating that it was photoshopped. So I guess the coward who runs your faves, our maps, is too spineless to take credit for the absolutely depraved shit that he does. And as far as I'm concerned, he can feel free to die alone in a piss-filled ditch. I think there's really only one message that I can end this video off on. And that is that this issue, pedophiles openly advocating for raping children, and zoophiles openly advocating for raping animals, Situations like these on Twitter are running rampant and only getting worse with time. If you are still watching, don't share this video. Instead, if you're a YouTuber, talk about it on your channel yourself. If you have a Twitter, say something to your followers. It's uncomfortable to talk about issues like this, but at this point it's not going to go away unless enough people say something about it and finally make it stop. With all that said, I'll see you all in the next video.